anywhere on the anywhere within a few miles of the traffic circle right now, which would take you all the way up to 28 West, would take you all the way down to the Willow Glen subdivision, all the way over to the east to the Red River, and then back to the west to the uh, part of Twin Bridges Road out here that is near uh, Bocage Drive. You need to seek shelter. You need to be in your shelter right now as this storm system is continuing on its track through Alexandria. The tornado threat is high with this system. Fortunately, again, I haven't seen any damage reports. Uh, just getting a pea-sized hail report here uh, in Alexandria a few minutes ago, but I'm not seeing any reports of damage on the ground. I got to tell you, that's great to hear because this storm system it looks very active, looks just about as nasty as they come on radar, and it's going to continue to lift onto the northeast through Alexandria. Behind this, we have more activity as things start to ramp up again here downtown. Another thing you want to be wary of with this storm is it's kind of slowed down. It's moving fairly slowly, so we're up to an inch of rain so far, and we could see that total eclipsed, it looks like, here in the next... 15 minutes or so, we, we could see another half an inch or so of rain fall, and uh, that, uh, that, that becomes another problem for us. But the most pressing concern right now, obviously, is the threat for a tornado and uh, putting things into motion for our TV viewers. That, uh, that area of rotation is most intense right over the traffic circle, about to cross I-49, and that's going to put it somewhere around Broadway. It's going to be uh, crossing that way pretty soon. It looks like this at this point again, probably passes just to the south of the downtown district, right near the station and right near areas uh, uh, of downtown, right on, you know, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th Street, those places, but it's too close to call. You still want to seek shelter because if it misses us here, it misses us by maybe a mile or two, and there is still a tornado warning for this entire area as this, uh, this large cell, this uh, very intense storm cell continues to move across Alexandria. The threat for a tornado is with this system and it's pretty high. We've seen this cycle up and down a couple of times and what I'm hoping I'm seeing here is this storm starting to cycle down a little bit but I can't uh, exactly say that at this point. It takes a little while to see that but we're seeing rotation still and fairly intense rotation now over and just east of the traffic circle and let me get you some streets here for those of you listening at home and watching at home. Brentwood Avenue, Babe Ruth Drive out near, uh, out near the ballpark, you need to seek shelter. Bay Street, southeast of there, and Roy Avenue, uh, even up to Rensselaer Street, and uh, to the east on Chicago Street, east of I-49. You need to seek shelter immediately as this storm has the potential again to produce a tornado. And right near Alexandria is where things are very active right now. And again, not to be too short-sighted here, while this storm is the chief threat right now, Looking to the southwest, we have another cell that looks like it's trying to take shape, and then another one in Beauregard Parish. Uh, looking at our wind uh, direction, it has changed now at the station, coming to the east at 29 miles an hour and picking up. So the winds are going to be variable and very strong, and then obviously uh, that threat for a tornado is with this storm as it heads on toward the northeast. And this storm, the worst part of it right now, is right over top of Alexandria. Looking at the Lake Charles radar algorithms to see how uh, strong that wind shear is, the worst of it is right over Alexandria right now, and the winds are expected to be greater than 70 miles an hour within this storm with that threat for one inch hail. So right now is the worst of it in Alexandria. Moving on to the northeast, uh, areas like Ball and Tioga, and perhaps just east of Ball and Tioga, are going to be hardest hit. And then, De I'm sorry, DeVille, not DeRitter, DeVille, uh, you have a threat to see this storm moving your way within the next 15 minutes or so. But again, another one developing southwest of Oak Hill. And let me put the velocity on here just to make sure I'm not missing anything. And I don't see any pronounced rotation there by far. The uh, biggest game in town right now is right here over Alexandria and southern areas of Pineville. There is a threat for a tornado with this storm as it continues on toward the northeast very rapidly. And the winds are, are really at the station now. I, it's not, uh, I can't say it's tornadic or anything like this, but we're seeing the winds fluctuate from the south to the northeast on the order of about 30 to now 35 miles per hour. 36 miles per hour. I'm watching my anemometer here and we are seeing the winds really pick up. So most likely going to be some wind damage with the threat for a tornado with this system as it continues on toward the northeast. Anywhere in Alexandria along I-49 from uh, MacArthur Drive on the south end to in between uh, MacArthur Drive and Rapid Station on the north end, basically anywhere east or southeast of the airport. You need to seek shelter. 
You need to be ready for the potential of a tornadic thunderstorm that continues to roll up toward Pineville now. So we're going to kind of carry it over into that area. And another interesting feature with this uh, storm is that the temperature is pretty much staying the same, if not coming up a little. So it's very warm, very humid, unstable. We're not losing any of that energy uh, from, this, uh, from, from this storm being lost. We're not seeing anything going away. We're not seeing anything like, uh, you know, when the rain starts, a lot of times we lose that instability. That's not the case this go around. This storm has held its own and continues to rotate very briskly. Uh, right now, again, looks like we may be cycling down a little bit. There is a little bit of a gap in between the inbound and outbound winds, so the rotation signature on radar has perhaps weakened just a tiny bit over the last uh, three minutes or so, but it's still, when we see that happen, we can still see some intense rotation near the ground. We can still see that threat for tornadoes, and we still do have a threat for tornadoes here in Alexandria that's going to last, it looks like, uh, over the next five, 10 minutes in the city, maybe 15 minutes in town, and then there's another storm behind this, which again, starts to make me kind of wonder, are we gonna see the flooding rains develop? Because we have right now in the bucket in the last 45 minutes, 1.13 inches, and there's another very heavy shower coming up from the southwest. Uh, you can see that rotation was very intense. Now it's kind of lifting northward toward downtown, but it, uh, it also has lost a little bit of its identity. So this storm is still tornado warned. Uh, 1051 right now, this warning goes until 11. And just looking at the National Weather Service, uh, rotation wise, they're saying this storm still has some, but it's pretty broad. Another storm uh, near Heinston, they're talking about that one to our southwest also showing strong but broad rotation. So as we close the book, or not totally close the book, as we watch this storm move on to the northeast of Alexandria, judging by that verbiage from the folks at the Weather Service, they may be issuing another warning on that storm moving in from the southwest at this point as they're seeing that rotation down there that's starting to develop. A very busy morning here in the Weather Center. The good news that I'm hearing is, is that so far, the reports have been of some hail, uh, had some pea-sized hail reports, also had some uh, large hail, doesn't qualify with any sort, of, uh, any sort of size measurement here, but in Claremont, in the Claremont subdivision, we have seen some large hail as well. Uh, the broad rotation centered over Alexandria right now that could at any moment spawn a tornado is uh, centered right over the downtown area, right near Pineville over toward Wardville, and uh, some of the streets, uh, Lakeview Street and Pineville, Barron Street, uh, in Alexandria, areas like Boise, which is kind of unsettling to say since I'm sitting on Boise Street, 16th, 7th Street, all those areas down near uh, I-49 uh, and points northeast right now are under that threat zone for a potential tornado as uh, temperatures are, are actually warming up now into the low 70s again. Like I said, we have a lot of instability. This storm system is tugging in that warm air. These supercell thunderstorms, they pull in this warmth and moisture from the ambient environment around them. And this, this one has plenty to work with because it's so isolated. And, and you can really see that here. Uh, when I pan this view out, we have this one cell now moving east of the river and then another one developing to the southwest. But out ahead that air that this storm is ingesting is just perfect to develop thunderstorms in and, and it was something we were worried about this morning but it certainly has come about very quick today as a tornado warning continues for this storm right to the northeast of Alexandria so Ball, Tioga, uh, areas between Tioga and DeVille you are under a tornado warning if you're traveling on 165 this storm is going to continue to be a problem uh, for you and then we have our next storm that's lined up right behind this. So we start to kind of worry about several things here with the threat for flooding, the threat for tornadoes, and the threat for more thunderstorms. We're gonna see more things develop later on today and through the afternoon and evening as this uh, storm system to our west continues to wrap up, but kind of slow down. So this storm system's not in a hurry to get out of here. And with that being said, someone's gonna end up with five inches of rain. So we're gonna have that threat of flooding and tornadoes. We still have a tornado warning, although the rotation has become a little bit more broad, it looks like over the last few scans. This storm did wrap up right as it came into Alexandria. And so far, I guess no news is good news. I'm not hearing any uh, damage reports come into the newsroom. They haven't handed those to me yet. So that's the good news I have for you. The bad news is we're not close to being finished with this. What I'm going to do is stick with you on this storm until we, uh, I'm going to pick up on this storm, I'm going to stick with this storm until we actually get the warnings to cancel. If we lose the warnings, I will go away for a while from this coverage. Um, Empire Drive in Alexandria, building collapse, possible tornado, at least possible something, some damage at least around the Empire Drive area is the report I was just handed. So. Um, 
When we say possible tornado, I mean, the signature on radar is very good for this. It possibly could have been.